FBI says all of these false threats originated from a single source. So what exactly is swatting? Daryl and Horn is here for you now in studio to break it all down for us. Daryl and Yes, Sherry, these fake emergencies were called into at least seven schools today. I spoke with a lieutenant from Michigan State Police who says since this was a statewide incident, the FBI will now take over the investigation and the people behind those calls made today face serious terrorist charges. And after uh, going through the building and removing the students, they found that it was a hoax. That was the case at Okemos High School this morning once authorities received a swatting call. But what is swatting? Swatting is actually when somebody will call uh, authorities, the police, reporting a fake crime. And that's to get a response from the police um, and sometimes SWAT units, that type of thing. Just last week, a student was arrested in Jonesville and charged for swatting. And today, several school districts nationwide were targeted. In the past, it kind of started with gamers would be playing online games and they would actually call uh, the police in the area of someone else that they were playing a game against on, you know, PlayStation or Xbox. And then it became more prevalent with people doing it for just other reasons, maybe for attention. Uh, somebody wanted to have school closed down for the day. Michigan State Police released a tweet encouraging parents to talk to their children about swatting to lower the chances of copycat calls. Michigan law allows for multiple types of charges when a person makes a threat of violence. Today, Attorney General Dana Nessel also released a warning saying these types of threats could be considered terrorism, a 20 year felony. Lieutenant Gonzalez says whether it's swatting or not, authorities treat each call exactly the same. People that are inside a school, in a, in a grocery store, anything like that, we suggest you treat it the same way and wait till it's been determined that there isn't. Right now, authorities would not say if they have any leads, but added that they expect to charge whomever is responsible with the most severe charges possible. Sherry, back to you. Thank you, Daryl, and be sure to stay with Six News on air, online, and through 